Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. On March 25th, we celebrate Palm Sunday of the Passion of the Lord. For us Catholics, this is the beginning of the week we call Holy Week, the most precious time of the year. I think it good to listen to the beginning of the Mass offered to us by the Church. Dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather together to herald with the whole Church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is to say, of His Passion and Resurrection. Today we celebrate the beginning of this time, and I think an important note also is to understand how we Catholics understand history and memory, and we borrow this notion from our Jewish ancestors. It's a wonderful sense. Here in America, we consider an event that happened in the past to be simply relegated to the past. And when we call it to mind, it's like we have a sense that it's still back in the past somewhere, already done with. Well, for our Jewish ancestors, important events, historical events, encounters with God were much more than that. So when you gathered to ritually tell the story and remember the events of God saving us, somehow we got to participate in those mysteries now. So for example, a Jewish Passover supper isn't simply remembering something God did to save the Jewish people, it's our participation in that event right now. The saving power of that event is so great it reaches across time and space, and we get to share in it. We as Catholics also celebrate this sense of time and memory. It's at the heart of our ritual, at the heart of the Mass, and I think it helps us understand Holy Week. So during Holy Week, we're not just retelling stories of something Jesus did 2,000 years ago. Rather, as we enter into these rituals, open our ears to hear the Word of God, watch as feet are being washed, venerate a cross, as we light the fire of Easter Saturday night, we right now are participating in those events. God saving us in the here and the now. That means that at every Mass that we celebrate as a Catholic, we are present at the beginning of creation. We're also present witnessing the miracles of Jesus. We're also sitting at the Last Supper. We are also at the foot of the cross on Calvary. And we also know the great hope of the resurrection. All of that at one time is too much for our mind to take in, so our hearts and our spirit come with us. And our Catholic faith points us to say this week in Holy Week, we have a God searching us out to save us in the same way that, in a sense, Jesus went searching for Adam after he died on the cross and went down for the harrowing of hell and brought them all back into heaven. This week our God desires to find us and save us, so let the rituals happen. In the second reading for Palm Sunday, we hear St. Paul to the Philippians saying that Jesus, though he was in the form of God, emptied himself. He gives away everything simply to find you and to find me. So let him do that this week. Have a blessed Holy Week.